we're back and while the cake is chilling what we're going to do is uh, do some of the playing cards and talk about uh, the money and things that are going to go on the cake okay for the topper on the cake what i wanted to do is the vegas sign uh, what you could do you could either just um i usually get it, go online and this is the one that i found that i printed this from you could uh go ahead and get this if you wanted to you could just um trace it and cut it out in fondant and then you can pipe this or you can cut out the letters in fondant i wanted to this cake is taking you know a long time anyway so what i decided to do is cheat a little bit and just go ahead and do a photo print of it you know on the uh, food food paper the rice paper um so i rolled out my fondant well first of all the fondant i added some of the tylos powder to it tylos powder is the ingredient we use for gum paste right so I just took some of my white fondant, sprinkled some of the Tylos powder in, and you can tell that this is a pretty hard fondant. I did this one yesterday. It's actually best if you put the Tylos in the day before and let it kind of um, get, get stiff. Okay, so then you can just roll it out, and then I place the pattern over it, cut it with just a little uh, utility knife like this, and then what I can do is peel off the paper. Now, sometimes it's hard to get the paper off. There's a couple things you can do. If you actually pop this in your freezer for a second, it'll actually, the paper will come right off. Or I like to use my little um, palette knife here because it's the, the blade is so thin and I just take it and go find a little spot that you can get in there and then just slide it off like so, okay? Then what I do is take a little bit of the piping gel and place it over the top. Now this, I let this sit, this has just been overnight. Um, it's really best if you can do it longer so it gets nice and hard. Maybe do it at the beginning of the week or a couple weeks ahead if you know you're gonna do this cake. Then I'll just place it right on top. Okay, and then we'll just set that aside until we're ready to use it. Okay, the next thing are the playing cards. Now, uh, you can either go online and um, just do a search and pull up some playing cards, but sometimes the images aren't that great. Uh, some of these I did that with. These actually all look pretty good, but I printed some other ones that were horrible. Another thing you can do is just uh, put get your own playing cards, put them in your printer, and then um, you know scan them and then print them that way. Uh, now, the only thing you have to be, you know, you have to use your own discretion here. Some of them, like the bicycle playing cards, obviously it's tra a trademark type thing. So if you're selling the cake, you know, it's kind of a gray area there, what you wanna do. Um, but if it's just for your family or something, then, then it's fine. Another thing is uh, printing money. <laughs> Don't know how legal that is, <laughs> but um, gotta have money on a Vegas cake, right? So online again, I just found this uh, money online and um, just put it, uh, printed it on the the food paper like this, and then uh, you can just cut them. Okay, so if you don't have one of these uh, food grade printers at your house, you can go to your local local cake supply store and sometimes supermarkets will do it for you. I don't know if they'll print money for you, but <laughs> they all do some other things. All right, so let me cut some of this.